Some frightening moments. Good evening, everyone. I'm Steve Hensley. Neighbors describe the timeline leading up to a deadly trooper involved shooting as scary and say they panicked. It happened Thursday evening when police say Stephen Brock threatened people in a small Knott County community. Tonight we're learning more about the moments leading up to that shooting, plus the recent past of one of the troopers involved. WYMT's Haley Minogue has more on what shocked this community. At 6.30 p.m., Kentucky State Police say they received a call that 53-year-old Stephen Brock was making threats to shoot anyone who came on his Neely Creek Road property. He was uh, outside and we heard the neighbor and we put the kids in the house. Then the uh, law come and then we heard shooting and then the next thing I know there were police everywhere. Police say trooper Luke Pridemore arrived on the scene. A neighbor told the trooper Brock hid in a bush as he pulled up. When trooper Pridemore called to the suspect, he came out. Uh, he, he saw the, the individual's right hand up in the air, but he had his left hand behind his back. Uh, he refused um, uh, orders from the trooper to, to show his hands, get him in plain view. Police say Brock threatened their lives, then moved in an aggressive manner. Then they say Trooper Brandon Thomas arrived to the scene as Trooper Pridemore fired his gun. The trooper fired his gun three times, striking the man at least twice. They attempted to provide medical assistance, but the man died before EMS could arrive. Now officials are trying to reconstruct the shooting. Police say they are unsure if Brock actually had a gun. Well, it's, it's still under investigation, that part of it, so we're just kind of, as, as the, uh, the investigators continue with that, uh, that information will be made available. When he was in his right mind, he was a good neighbor, but he would go off at times. The two troopers involved have been placed on administrative leave, which is standard procedure. In Knott County, Haley Minogue, WYMT Mountain News. State police say they plan to release more information as the investigation continues. We have learned today that one of those troopers, Luke Pridemore, was involved in a deadly shooting back in May. The two-year veteran was involved in the shooting that killed Michael Asher when state police say he pointed a gun at them. He was placed on administrative leave also at that time. It's unclear when he returned to patrolling. 